Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at a new season. This is now the season of 2030-2031 and we are still in the Skybet League 2. Last season we finished in 8th. Let's have a look at that actually because we didn't actually see the end of the season. So we started the season quite poorly but then we picked up as the season went on and we managed to actually finish as I said, in 8th. So let's have a look at the stages from last year. So four points away from... Um, actually, three points away from 7th. Uh, so we just missed that on the playoffs. This season, my aim is to um, grab a playoff spot, if possible. We have lost some players. We're going to go through the squad in a little bit. But um, we have lost some players, but I'm hoping that... We're actually doing um, well compared to last season. So our technical um, skills are better compared to the league, um, uh, compared to last season. So are our mental. Physical is still quite low compared to the rest of the league, but uh, hopefully that that won't matter too much. Everything else is better. Goalkeeping included is also better. Uh, I didn't really keep an eye on these other ones, but so let's just have a look now. Lacking some speed in defense, but everything else seems pretty good. Uh, so pretty good defense. Uh, midfield is okay. Um, and attack. Attack is not great. So our defense is good, but attack midfield could be improved still. But I know that. Now, the good news, news are we are starting off with very good cohesion already. We, um, we've lost some players, but uh, the main backbone of our um, squad is still the same as last season. So that's why we've been able to maintain a very good cohesion. Now, if I go through the uh, positions, we have one new goalkeeper, Sam Long, on loan from Preston it seems, originally from Lincoln. Sam Long is with us um, because our other goalkeeper decided to accept a contract from another team. Uh, it's, it's all right, actually. It's quite good. I'm, uh, I'm playing with Cami right now, but I might swap between the two just to kind of see. In the right of the fence, we have... Um, a player that was with us before, we, we bought him last season, the season before, uh, but we didn't play him, actually last season, yeah, beginning of last season, we didn't play him, we sent him out on loan instead, but we are playing him this season, Adrian Springer, um, so he's, he's kind of new, even though he was with us last season, but he was in the youth, and the other new player for this position is Kieran Anderson. I have a feel. I recognize this name. I have a feeling he might have been with us before. Yeah, so he was with us before. Then we sold him, and he's been in Scotland for a while, and he's back with us now on loan. So yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, we managed to sell Jamie already, so Jamie can disappear off our list here. On the left side of the fence, no changes. We still have uh, Horn. Uh, who a few a few clubs have been trying to actually get him off us, but we've been managing to fend them off. And Zordania as well is still with us. The, this position might need a refresh refresh in January, but we'll we'll see. In defence, we still have Sweeney and McManus as our defensive role um, def uh, central defenders, uh, and on the other side on the covering role, we still have uh, Williams Baker, but we have one new player. We have this Baumer, the Serbian. He's really good, 20, 21 year old, year old. He's got work to do in the technical side of things and even in the mental side of things, but physicals are quite good. He could do with a bit more speed or acceleration, I should say, but, um, but yeah, it's quite good promising for the future, because all these other things can be improved. Uh, in the midfield, we have one new defensive midfielder, 
uh, Ulaunen, 19 year old on loan from Sunderland. And we still have Sulmana as our other solution. This is this is a really good player. It's just a shame he's not going to stick around with us. His mentals are mental, are quite good uh, for this level anyway. Um, in the attack, uh, in the central midfielder, uh, um, there's no changes. We still have Waterstone, and we still have Brown. Brown wants to leave, but um, but I'm not let letting him leave just yet. Um, right side of attack on the inverted winger, we still have Bradley and Antoniazzi. Antoniazzi is out injured at the moment for three months. Um, but so Bradley, we'll we'll do Bradley and we'll do some youth players as well. So that's that's fine. Um, also, no changes in the Engash position. We still have McBride and we still have Giscombe. And that's it. Two new players on the wide target man position. So, well, when I say new, they're sort of been bought, but they're not actually new. None of them are new, actually. Ian Davis was with us last season on loan. I decided to go and get him anyway. He's not great, but he's got a rapport with the team, so he'll do. Um, and then the other one is Nolan, who's actually f today acting as a striker, because both our strikers are injured. Um, Nolan is not new either. He was with us before for a couple of seasons. I think he came at the end of 27, 28. Um, and then he was with us again um, in 28, 29. So he's not brilliant. Neither of them brilliant. So this is a position to maybe try and improve in the future. But for the moment is what we have. And sadly, very sadly... Uh, Osong has decided to leave us, our striker. So we went and found Phil Pope. Let me just check he's not been with us before. He has. I thought he might have. Okay. So he was with, with us before on loan on a couple of occasions. Um, and he's back with us now for good. Uh, well, let me just see where Osong has gone. Is a stun? Is that a? He's in Kazakhstan. Okay, interesting. Um, so he decided to go from us. Uh, not not his best season, but pretty good season. And he decided to go and play for Kazakhstan. Interesting move. Okay. Yeah, we weren't able to renew his contract. He was starting to get a bit expensive anyway. So, as you can see, he's, you know, he's being paid 8k by this club. And we can't do that. Uh, we still have some money left in the budget for January transfers. Our finances are improved, but not improving, if you see what I mean. So, this is just because we had a few bonuses and stuff at the end of the season. And also, I think the board made uh, some investment. But the good, big news is we are rumoured for a takeover. So we'll see what happens. We're going to play here against Bristol, Bristol Rovers. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. We might lose, but we might not. Who knows? Let's make it all full screen. I think so far we've had two draws, so we have two points. Let me just confirm that as soon as the table comes back up. He must be offside, surely. Just miles away. Right, so where is he? So he's... There he is. Um, maybe this guy was keeping him in, but uh, I don't know. OK, 
Okay, so let's change this to league table. Yeah, two points. So two draws, two points. One against um, Walsall. And the other one, I can't remember. I think it was Carlisle. And Carlisle are in 19th. Okay. They're getting a lot of um, free kicks from us. Nice goal. I'll skip skip that replay. Yeah, I don't need to see that. Now Bristol, I think they might have come from um oh, okay. I thought they maybe so let's look at the league for a second. Preview. We're obviously getting they always want us to be relegated for some weird reason. Um so relegated was Grimsby, Cambridge, Swindon, and Northampton. Okay. Looks like we're going to get a beating here. Maybe I shouldn't have gone positive, but it's too late to change that now, anyway. <coughs> right, so, subs. Um, Chris Warren is actually a youth player, because I've run out of subs with all these injuries we're having. But uh, he's meant to be a good youth player, so let's see. And we are going to put in Discomb as a striker. We do have a lot of injuries going on at the moment, which is limiting our options. As you can probably tell from my voice, I still have a little bit of COVID left. Tested positive today still, so um, that's why I've been having... Uh, a peculiar voice lately. Okay, we need some action here in the final few moments. Warren, the youth kid. Zordania to McBride. Just come, passes the ball. Nicely played there, guys. It's a beautiful goal. Well done. Ian Davis. Oh, it's offside. Ah, oh, that's annoying. So, how much offside was he? He's quite a bit offside. Okay. Started his run too soon. It's a loss here, but we will have to take it in the chin. I'm I'm going to leave it there um, just because I'm starting to cough a little bit and I don't want to put you through that. Um, but yeah, so we'll continue now, make some progress, and um, then we'll see where we're at. Maybe 
I don't know when I'll come back. I don't want to make any promises right now because I've not been able to play consistently. But the aim is always to come back at the middle of the season. So around January or February. So we'll try to get there uh, for the next episode. But if not, that's okay too. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also check out the Patreon. Take care. Bye-bye.